Hi guys, it's Chloe and welcome back to my channel for another Create This Book 2 episode. And in today's episode we're going to be doing three pages, but two of them are going to be ones that I'm redoing because I don't like how they look. So yeah, once we're ready, let's just get straight into it. So the first one I'm going to be doing is this one where it was to like choose the colours I love, like use the colours I love, but I didn't like how that one turned out. So I'm just going to be redoing this. And before I talk about what I'm going to be doing, I want to give a huge shout out to Span Grace because she recently done this collaboration with me on where she made a clay creation out of a spot drawing I did. If you can just give it her a huge follow and just let her know that I sent you over, it would be great. The video's really good and her creation turned out absolutely amazing. So thank you very much for collaborating with me, Spam, if you're watching this. And you did such an amazing job. But yeah, please go watch the video because it turned out really great. Anyways, um, as you can see, I'm just redoing the scene. This was pretty similar to what I had before, but I didn't get to show that because honestly, it was nothing. Like, it was, I don't even know how to describe how the first one, like the original one turned out with this, but I'm just kind of like redoing the same scene. So just kind of imagine it's like a bad drawing, like a five-year-old drawing that. <laughs> but yeah. And I'm gonna say I'm kind of cheating on this page because I'm also kind of using colors I don't really love. Like the dark gray is not one I really love, the brown is not. But uh, you know what, I still use them, so I guess you could just kind of say colours I like. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I'm also using my Prisma colour pencils for these. And I recently got these for Christmas time. And I'm in love with them, honestly. Like, the amount of times I'll be using these now since I got them is really good. So I can see why there's a huge hype about them. But now I'm just painting in the rainbow with my Tilly Art markers, which I'm just using at this point because there's a good colours in them. And even though they're really not really great for using with on paper. I mean, I'll still use them, but it's just really hard because the plastic nib, you have to keep dabbing it down to a piece of paper before the paint comes out. Yeah, but you know what? I've used them for like almost two years now. So at this point, I'm just used to using them like that but yeah and outlines in and stuck into my book and here is how the new page looks and i'm actually so glad i decided to redo this one because it turned out so much better than one before like i'm honestly watching i showed you guys now how it looked because i thought you'd all agree the same and as you can see there's a huge difference from this page to the dislike page but yeah i do like this but on to the next one which is to create integration whereas we choose this line into a different drawing and as you can see this one's about but I don't even know what I was doing this one, so yeah, I redesigned this into like kind of like a factory scene. So I made the huge line, like the line for the factory buildings. So I'm just cutting out of my like alcohol markers. But as you can see, it does look a bit scrawly, but that's because I'm going to be adding my Prisma colour pencils on top of it to make it look more stand out in 3D. But it looks like a bunch of scribbles in one, but you all see it as the video goes on. And I don't know if you can tell at the moment, but I've got a really sore throat. Like, I've had this for a few days now. So I do apologise my throat sounds a bit croaky at some point in the video. Like, I've just had this for a few days, but I had to do the voiceover to now for this video, if that makes sense. But yeah, as you can see, I'm now using the Prisma colour pencils. And you can actually tell that it does look a lot more better than what it did. And I'm also adding in little details with my paint markers, like the windows and the other blue line bits that I had on the ends. I don't really know what they were, to be honest. So as you can see, I did most of the parts off, off camera because I just wanted to focus on them more. But as you can see, like I've just used Prisma colour pencils for the floating, I mean the ground. But now I'm just going outline the black and this took so long. Like my hand was in agony by doing this, but I pushed through and here is how the outline turned out to be. So yeah, and it does look so much better, but I thought to add a little detail, I'm going to use this cotton and dab in with grey watercolour paint because it's going to turn a little smoke that's coming from the chimney pipes in the factory. Which I thought would make this factory more stand out and more nice to look at, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm just gluing these in, using fabric glue. I don't really know why I was using fabric glue, because it was the only one I had there. But yeah, done that and then stuck this back into the book and here is how the page turns out. And honestly, I do like this one again so much better than before. Like, I've actually put time and thought into it, but that doesn't matter by the way because it did bleed through the, the prompt thing but it doesn't matter anyways this is how the page turned out really nice the colors are stand out and let's move on to the last one which is to create a recreation so i'm choosing to improve my old artwork and as you can see i done this back in like 2012 and these are like little fruit drawings honestly um yeah i was about 12 years old when i done these so yeah they do look a bit different and i think at the time i only had crayon markers when i was doing them but yeah anyways i'm just gonna dab the background with acrylic paint because you know i don't want the background looking white in all my draws i don't know if you actually noticed that on all my pages i don't have any of the backgrounds being white <laughs> 
So because I don't have a lot of space in the page to add all my old drawings and I'm only going to be adding three of them. So to add them, I'm just going to be making this little flat thing for them to fold down. So yeah, I chose three. And then once I suck them into this little bit of paper, I'm going to be adding another bit on top, which just is going to say old drawings and then the year when I did them. Then I redesigned the little fruits off camera, so hopefully there is some difference um, when you do see the finished result, like compared to what I did back, like, nearly 10 years ago? Nearly 10. <laughs> I'm like, no wait, over 10 years ago. Gosh, I can't count. But yeah, at this time I'm going to be using acrylic paint to colour in the little fruits with because I wouldn't want to use cooler markers again. I don't even think I have any at the moment anyways. So yeah, I'm just colouring these in with my acrylic paints. <laughs> I should also mention I did have a debate on whether to add the faces to these again or not because I thought like if I didn't add the faces it would just look a bit strange. So yeah, like with adding the faces though was just like a last minute puzzle. You know, let's just add them and I'm also so glad I did because it makes them more cute as well and more nice too. But yeah, and I'm outlining all these again with a black pen just to add little face details and little cheeks and the pink tongues and some of the mouths. So once I'd done that, I just cut these out and stuck them into the book, and here is how the finished page turned out. And I'm also happy with how this one turned out, definitely one of my favourites. But as you can see, there's a huge improvement, hopefully. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me doing these drawings. If you did, let me know. And please, like I said, go check out Spam Creates video on the collaboration. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!